It is Monday. It is dark and miserable. And I feel like shit. And my car is swearing at me. And uh, it's still time to go to work. So, it's still time to talk about games. Now, I know that Monday morning is normally our time slot to talk about what I think is going to happen in tonight's session. But I'm going to change it up a little bit today. This morning, I'm going to continue on yesterday's chats about the changeling setting. And then this afternoon, I will record a little bit about what I think is going to happen tonight. Um... So, where we left off, the High King has gone missing, the new High King, um, oh, sorry, the original High King was killed, the new High King was crowned, the new High King then goes missing. Um, the Fey Courts are again left without a king, and without the Sword of Kings. And things fracture. Um, at current, there is no High King. The Seely Court have a King of the Court, but even at that, there are other courts with other kings that just then defer to the Seely King. Um, this is actually something that did happen uh, in medieval structures quite a bit. Um, and it's basically what would have happened previously with the High King, only not at the same level. Previously, the Seely Court had a king, the Unseely Court had a king, but then both of those kings answered to the High King. In this case, the Seely Court has a king, and then there are other smaller kings and queens within the Seely Court. Um, and the same applies in the Unseely. Uh, the Unseely Court has a queen at this point. Uh, and I will go into the, court, the courts themselves in a bit more detail later on. Uh, but the Unseely Court has a queen. Uh, but then there are other courts that answer to her. Uh, the Slua have a court, uh, and the Slua have a king. The Dimifei have a court and a queen. The Redcaps maintain a semblance of a court, kind of, um, although they don't call their leader a king, they call it a chief, but um, the same idea. Many of the groups that are heavily associated with one side or the other um, maintain a, a court of their own. And it's very much like political affiliations in any modern country today. Um, they're looking to try to improve their people's lot. So the, the king or queen of one of the minor courts would petition on behalf of their people to the king or the queen of the un, uh, of the Seely or the Unseely. Um, and that's kind of where we are. There is no open war. The courts are not necessarily at war with each other, but they don't trust each other. They don't like each other. Um, their methods are too different. Um, now, bizarrely, that primarily only goes one way. Um, and I'll, I'll get into this more whenever I talk about Seely and Unseely, but um, in a lot of ways, it actually comes down to the Seely Court being the issue. The Unseely Court are willing to work with just about anyone as long as they get something out of it. Uh, the Seely are a lot more defined in their view.
views of what should and should not be, and uh, they're a lot less willing to compromise with others. But that's a video for another day. Uh, we've brought it up to date. We've discussed uh, kind of the current court dynamics. Everyone's still waiting on the sword to reappear. Everyone wants to have their monarch end up with it. Um, and there we are. Catch you later.